Good morning, everybody. It's about 8 in the morning. I'm heading south towards Temecula on I-15. It's a pretty nice day. I'm tired because I'm not used to being up this early. Picking up Megan, and uh, she needs to go to Rancho Cucamonga to get a ride to Davis from there. I don't know exactly all the details. I just just told to go get her. So that's what I'm doing. Afterwards, I need to um, install some drawers. And uh, it's in the same area, so even if I uh, get there early, I'll probably get something to eat. Wait around. As I told them I'd be, I'll come over around 11. I should be in uh, Rancho Cucamonga around 10, so I'll have about an hour to uh, waste. So. So here I am finally in Rancho Cucamonga. We're waiting for uh, Megan's ride and here's Megan. Hello. She's kind of awake. Yeah. I don't think she's had much sleep in the last week or so. No. <laughs> so, yeah, you're very tired looking. I but feel you'll tired. be able, maybe you'll be able to sleep on the way up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Get a snore in the car. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna hang out here for a little while for the ride, and then I'll go on to my job. So I've dropped off Megan, and I actually had to run home because I forgot things. I always forget stuff. And now I'm on my way to the job, and hopefully everything goes well. Let's Turn right on Hidden Valley Parkway. Alright, I'm about to install the drawers. They came out great. This is the best thing about making sure that you, you do all your measurements before you start because these all came out exactly right. They all run really well. Uh, I have this one cabinet. I need to do some adjustments on the rail on the cabinet itself because the fit is a little strange. I think the rails on the inside are shifted. But all, what I'm doing right now is I have to drill a couple of 3 8 inch holes in the face um, and I'm using a specific type of screw to uh, attach um, a drawer face frame so which is about uh, what is it 2 16th and 8th of an inch thick so it gives you a lot of leeway it's got a really large head so you can adjust as much as you want They're all installed. I uh, basically eyeballed the, the fronts and used a, uh, a face frame screw just to put it into the drawer. I adjusted all the doors and put in some new um, hardware and it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm finished my job and I need to do some shopping and there was a Petco right along the way and this was something that I was going to do with Val but she's been sick for so long that I'm not going to be able to do it so I am going to probably buy a bunch of animal stuff right now really help us out the EJ Giggy gave us a uh, uh, a card for Petco and uh, I'm going to go to town here all right, so what was on the card will last our critters uh, about three weeks. Save us quite a bit of money. Thanks, EJ. Angel, bring your treat with you. It's time to do the closer. So this is the strange things when I get treats for the animals. She has a treat that she can't finish eating, so she's going to guard it. So we'll see how that works out. Probably do the closer from there. Probably. Mm -hmm. So I didn't sleep last night, so I slept a lot today. I've had a major migraine all day and very, very nauseous all day. Yeah. So that's what I did. I've had a long day. Yeah, you did. I started at 7, went, to, drove to Temecula, pick up Megan, drove her to Rancho Cucamonga. 
I was just going to go right to the job, but realized I had forgotten some stuff that I needed, so I had to drive back home again, pick those things up, drive to the job. I started putting that stuff together, and there a guy came in to cut stone, and I figured that was a perfect time to get out of there, because I, I don't want to be there with stone dust everywhere. So I um, ran over to uh, Rockler to get the hinges. hinges, got the right hinges, and got that all together, and uh, then I went to Petco grocery store. Kevin has an opportunity to, to do, to sand two floors. So if anybody out there in the local area has a sander that they want to unload <laughs> cheaply, let us know. Because not only does he have an opportunity to make money sanding and redoing, refinishing two floors at two different locations, we still need to do our floors. So instead of renting equipment, it would be feasible for him to purchase the equipment to do the two floors that he could get paid for doing and then have the equipment to do our floors as well. So if anybody out there has any sanding, floor sanding equipment that they want to unload, they, let us know. Yeah, I, I haven't seen one for under $800. Uh, used anywhere. They run almost between $2,000 and $5,000 uh, new. And to rent them anywhere from $50 to $65 a day. And it's going to end up needing them for about four days. Per job. Yeah. So that's why I haven't done it. Because it, it's along with the sandpaper and the edge sander and the, uh, the the circular buffer sander that I have to use afterwards, it's gonna run around Angel. around three hundred dollars just to rent the stuff per job. So yeah, I don't want to do that. So, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call it an evening. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna go right back to sleep. <laughs> So if you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today, please give us a favorite. Please give us a thumbs up. Please leave us a comment down below. Please share our video with your family and friends. But <laughs> most of all, <laughs> please subscribe. <laughs> and we will see you guys all tomorrow. Ta -ta! Right back over to find her stuff. Bye.